So Ryan, I've got a couple of customer payments. I'm ready to take those checks to the bank, but I also got another check that I didn't invoice anybody for. Oh, and so you don't know how to enter it. Correct. Okay, well, let's take a walk through that. In the New button, all the way on the right-hand side under the Other menu is Bank Deposits. This screen will open up the undeposited funds. So here is where you will see the payments that you've posted to undeposited funds. Here's the check from Abel. I'm assuming the other one was Clampett. And now you say that there's a third check, but you didn't know how to enter it. What was that for? It was a commission check from a vendor. Oh, okay. And do you remember the vendor? It was Ingram Micro. Okay. Remember when we set up Ingram Micro, we used the vendor code IM243. So that's the code that we always need to use. And you say it was a commission income? Yes. So I'm going to start typing in commissions, and I have two options. One is an income account, and the other is a sub-account of sales expense. That's not the one we want. I think we want the commission income. It was a resale commission. I can type in check for the payment method, enter in the check number, and the amount. $300. Now. These are the customer payments at the top. When we have additional funds that we need to add to the deposit because there was no invoice, rather than create an invoice or even a sales receipt for the commission, you can just simply enter it at the bottom to add the funds, but you still want to classify it properly. So now you can see the other funds of $300, the customer payments of $750.59 for a total deposit of $1,050.59. Make sure that you are posting it to the proper bank account. So if you plan to deposit it to the checking account, choose that, and then of course, the date of the deposit. Save and New will bring up a blank deposit screen, or Save and Close. We'll save and close that. One last thing I wanted to show you. Let's take a look at our bank account. If we go into the chart of accounts and take a look at the checking account, let's view the register. Here in the register, you can see that the bank account is increased by the $1,050.59 as a deposit. And if you ever need to look at it, you can click on it, click on edit, and it will bring you right back to your deposit if you need to make any changes. That's the proper way of tracking customer payments and bank deposits.